I missed your birthday. I missed your birthday. Oh, hey, buddy, how are you? I'm alive and well in spite of my own dumb, corrupt ass. Can you believe that? In, in, in spite of what? In spite of my own dumb, corrupt ass. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Despite what all the rumors Art Bolo is spreading, I'm still alive. Uh, stop, listen, I don't want to hear any of that stuff. Good. Good, I'm glad to hear that. So, anyway, I was uh, at the Walmart where the kid got shot today in Amarillo just two days before. It makes you realize how precious life can be and how quickly things can end. Between that and Orlando, the girl from the voice getting shot, and then the kids in the nightclub. What the fuck is this country coming to? It's like, you know, at the end of the day, dude, there's too many guns and there's, and there's, too, many, there's too many people that have access to the... Uh, yeah, but you got Donald Trump saying the kid was from Afghanistan. He was American-born, you dumb shit. Where's he getting his intelligence from, a cardboard uh, box? But the, but the point is, he doesn't give a fuck, Kurt. He just, he just spouts out, dude. That's all he's doing. All he wants is the White House as an agenda so he can grind an axe with anybody he feels owes him money. Yeah, I mean, he's just, you know, Donald Trump, Donald Trump is a cartoon. Oh, my God. A at best... America, and sooner America realizes that, the better, because it's just like he's, he's just, he's saying some really awful shit, and he's, and unfortunately, he's riling up, he's riling up the conservative. Well, know, and what's and scary is here in Texas, where everybody now in this region I'm in, they have a law, you can carry a weapon on your holster as long as you have an open weapons permit. You can have concealed or open weapons now here in Amarillo, Texas. You can carry a gun on your belt at all times. Oh, this is this is scary shit, dude. Well, here's the bottom line. All the, all the, all the weapons and all that shit, carrying a handgun is a hell of a lot different than carrying a semi-automatic or an automatic rifle or weapon. Well, and how are these people even getting registered for this shit? That's what blows me away. And the guy also applied for grade three armor, which is higher than DOD. What the fuck, man? That should have been a red flag. Yeah, this is, this is, this is full of bullshit, full of too many holes. And the problem is that there's, there's, there's no teeth in the laws out there because the NRA is pumping millions of dollars in the Republican, Republican, uh, um, and Democratic, uh, you know, Congress people's coppers, you know, for re-election stuff. And it's like, you're, you know, those guys are bought and paid for by the NRA. The NRA is the biggest corrupt organization out there. It's all these ones promulgating abuse of the, of the, uh, of the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment was not designed so that people could carry weapons and blow their fellow, fellow citizens away. It was, it was designed for, it was designed to protect at a time when I think that's what a lot of people feel that are going to have a sensible, you know, thought about this. Nobody's trying to take guns away from anybody. I think people are just trying to take, you know, these, 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 these destruction mechanisms, these destruction weapons away. Well, let me share a thought with you. Yeah, think? Or an AK-47 with 100 rounds? Yeah, that's not the whole shit. So, you know, those are just weapons of nuclear killing weapons. So, and it's like, the sooner the, the, sooner the government wakes up and does something about that, that'll put a stop to some of it, not all of it. It's going to take years. Well, let me just share a thought with you, Joel, because I was born into the world of politics and who's who's and all that horse shit. I didn't vote for it. I was just assigned it at birth. First, all sides lie. It's been control on the same bullshit because I've been married into the other side and I've been married all the way into the White House in my first marriage and second. But aside from all that horse shit, if these guys had to live by the same laws they make for us, they'd all be in prison. What was that again, please? If 
Congress and Senate had to live by the laws they make for we the people, they'd all be in prison because of all the kickbacks. This year alone, they will make $10 trillion in third world interest for moving jobs to third world countries because they help own the factories. It's, it's ridiculous. It is $10 trillion dollars offsets $19 trillion and knocks it down to $9 trillion. Give me a fucking break, people. Yeah, it is. And where it gets even more cursory is, according to people in the Department of Justice, who I know personally, and FBI, it's so corrupt in government right now, the stuff the FBI normally could deal with, they have orders from Congress not to handle anymore. It's that fucking crazy. It's not. not the whole thing, the whole thing's like fucking nuts. Well, do you know about martial law, the military term, martial law? Why are you so well, I'll explain that in a second. But do you know about martial law? Yeah, I know. You've always told me about all that stuff. Yeah. All right, but if you Google it and put in Obama, it takes you to the White House. They voted in two years ago. Word I'm getting right now is that between now and the inauguration, if it's Trump or Hillary, they'll just declare martial law and Obama will stay in office. Because as long as... I don't think that's, I don't think that's possible. Well, it is because it's on the books. If you Google it, it takes you right to the White House website, and it's called Ready Preparedness. Congress approved it in April of 2014. He doesn't need even need. Need. Well, we'll see. But I've decided I'm going to go to Eurasia between now and inauguration and work on some films and stay low. And yeah. I figured I'd check in with some close friends like you and say, I, I'm going to be back in L.A. in the next week or two. Let's get together, and then I'm going to Europe for the rest of the year and the next year. And I'll watch it from over there. There you go. Smart man. <laughs> you know what? If they go to martial law, at least I'll still be in India and Mumbai and in, in China and other places where I can get my films done and get shit out and not worry about it. Which is dangerous as shit anyway. So here's the offer I got from the state of Texas. They arrested me again because Melissa filed fraudulent charges that I was armed, dangerous, and had heavy drugs and weapons in my room. They brought me down with armed guns. They arrested me. They sent me before several judges and prosecutors when they realized, oh, I'm real and this isn't horseshit. They've decided for $700, I get a pretrial diversion. All charges for about 100 years in jail here and felonies are all being expunged if I'll just pay him $700 for staying in jail for 40 days. Fuck you. I'm going to drag all of them back to, to, to court in Los Angeles and show them how we do it there. I'm not even going to stay here and play. I had people from NBC wire me some money. They got me into a secure room. We're doing some work early this morning and I'm getting out of this area. I'll be back in L.A. in the next week or so. I'm going to stop by Vegas and the 40-minute uh, project for so I'll cruise by, it'll be little notice, but I gotta be in and out because I gotta get into Eurasia in the next two weeks. Alright, my brother, we'll travel safely, okay? So keep keep a, keep a lunch or a, or a breakfast or something open for me on a weekend and we'll hook up in the next weekend or two. Alright, brother? Much love. Thanks for thanks for keeping the faith. Be careful. Uh, right. believe me, I'm trying. It's fucking dangerous out here. Alright, bye bye. Much love. on the phone with a major trade publication who wants to keep the story about the telephone to the Eurasian in the next year so he doesn't have to be part of martial law in the United States. <laughs> and I said, well, we'll talk about that when I see you in Malibu for breakfast in the next two weeks before I leave. Much love, Joel. I love you. Bex, if you look at a website called allaccess.com, 
wide and the guy who runs that whole thing is a dear friend of mine. So if you ever need music for stuff, we can get you music from any band in the world. Yes, babies. Hang on one second. Hang, hang, hang on one second. Don't go away. I have a surprise. I have a surprise for Aziz Jaw. I have... I have... I have a surprise. I have a surprise. Yes? Do you have a minute? I need to introduce you to my friend in this symbol. It'll only, he's, he's in Istanbul, no, 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 it's no, no, no. I don't have, no, not, not now, not now, Captain Kirk. Okay, well then I'll do it another I time. Want, I don't know what you want to introduce me to him for. Because this is the same person we're working with, Jeff, on films, but we'll do it another time, love. I'll send him yeah, your I'm, data. I'm, I'm discussing my mom right now. Yes, brother. love. I'll send you his information from NBC in Istanbul and vice versa. I love you. Bye-bye. Did you get the text I sent you about Bonnie? Yeah. Bonnie and I are working on a film slate of about a, a half a billion dollars. She just landed in Cancun, but in a day or so, call her and talk to her about her films. I want to have her move all the post over to Eurasia and we'll work out over there on it. They're high action films and other films uh, about Five hundred million dollars worth of business. I'm sorry. Is that too small for you? I'll find something bigger then. So, uh, can we have an hour or two to record, or do you need it right now? If so, I got to call a cab and get back to the hotel, and it'll be about thirty minutes. Or do we have a couple hours? Tell me how much time we have, because I'm not at the hotel. I'm out doing something. Two and a half hours. Okay, I will make sure I'm back at hotel in less than two and a half hours, and we will record them, my friend. I'm tr trying to bring you lots of business. Did you talk to Yavuz about Adobe yet? Yes, yes. Yavuz, I'm going to send you an email in a few minutes or hours. Do, does he do Adobe or not? Does he do Adobe? Uh, he will reply for. All right, thank you, boss. I said to him, and he, he, he said to me, and yes, I can do that job. Okay, good, good, good. All right, we'll talk in uh, two and a half hours. What time is it right now? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me look. Uh, fuck, what time is it? 10.56, 12.56. Okay, I got the time. Good. I just needed to see what time I need to be out of here by. All right, I'm getting some intel. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, hold on. Bye-bye.
Okay, let's get down and dirty.